Okay, guys, it's kind of like a math lesson, I guess, from Simply Intertwined. When I was doing the Think Spring Scarf using the sock loom, I had no clue how many rows I would need to do to get it to the length that I wanted, which means if I didn't know how many rows I'd have to do to get to the length I wanted, I didn't know how exactly to work my pattern so that it would end where I wanted it to end. So after talking with my husband, who knows math, and talking to a friend of mine, Sarah, who's a math professor at a local college, we came up with this idea, which you may have seen in high school. I did see this in high school, but I kind of lost it. But now this will show you how to kind of figure things out. Whatever loom you're using, say you do 10 rows. So put 10 here. You've done 10 rows on your loom. And that gave you, we'll say, 5 inches of knitted product. But you don't know. So now what you're going to do is you're going to say, well, what does that equal? Okay. So then you're going to say, okay, I need to know how many rows. So you can put like an R up here for how many rows do I need to get to whatever amount of inches you want. Like, for example, if you want 60 inches because you're doing a scarf. So how are you going to figure this out? You're going to do what's called cross multiply. So you can take 5R and put it over here is equal to the 10 times the 60, which is going to be 600. And then you're going to divide both sides by 5. And then your R will equal to 120. So that means roughly, give or take, it may not be an exact science, but it's saying that basically if you know how many rows you've done and how many inches you've got out of how many rows, then you can solve for your R, your rows basically, you know, your rows over here with how many inches you want the product to roughly be. And then this will give you an idea of how long you need the product to be. It's not exact science, but at least gives you an idea because that way you'll know if you're doing a scarf or whatever that you'll have an idea of how many rows you need to do. And again, it depends on how many rows you've done and how many inches you've gotten out of those rows to determine how many rows you need and how many inches you want to get. So just kind of, I'm hoping this kind of explains it a little bit. It's a little, I know, very weird to think that I would have to do a math problem, but I just wanted to show, hopefully this kind of shows you the idea of how you can kind of work through if you're doing it. And the same goes for a hat. The idea is you're just going to try to figure out, you know, let me just kind of break it down a little bit. So if you're trying to figure this out, let's start all over. You basically want it to look like this. And I'm going to turn my board. We want to know rows you have. Oops, excuse me. Let's get this erased here. The rows you have, rows you have over the inches you get. or centimeters or whatever your metric system is. And you want that to equal the rows you want, or the rows you need, I should say, the rows you need over the inches you want. And keep in mind, you're going to be solving for this. You're going to be solving for your R. So again, we'll do another example. We'll do the same example over again just to show you one more time, because I hate math, so I'd rather explain it. So again, that same idea, you're doing a scarf, you're doing whatever, and you get, and again, we're going to turn this to make it easier. Excuse me. You get 10 inches, or 10 rows. So this is your 10 rows that you get, okay, and it got you 5 inches, right? So you're trying to figure out, well, question mark of how many rows you need to get to, we'll say, the 60 inches that you want, right? So then you're going to take these two and these two, cross multiply. So start with your 5 inches, so your 5 R's, because that's what you're trying to solve for, is equal to 60 inches, because again, you times this one and this one together, divide that by the 5, or whatever number is by the R, and that should make it be roughly 120 rows to get you to roughly the 60 inches you want. Again, it's a give or take method, but at least knowing an idea of how many rows you have to do gives you an idea of how to plan out your pattern a little better. And a lot of us tend to put like a garter stitch at the beginning or just do knitting at the beginning or end. So this will give you an idea of how to break up your pattern a little more. I hope it helps. Like I said, it's not an exact science. It's just a rough guideline for those that are thinking about scarves they want to make. And after all, all different heights,